Welcome to 20 Questions. We are at the Israeli Presidential Conference 2011 and with us today is Ambassador Alan Pinkas, who served as Israel's Consul General in New York and was also a former advisor on US affairs to former Prime Minister Ehud Barak. You suggested that the Palestinians are more concerned with 1948 than 1967. If this is the case, isn't Israel doomed to fail whatever it tries? If, if the peace process continues along the lines of Israel assuming that it's about 67 rather than acknowledging that some elements of the Palestinian demands are based on 48, yes, it's doomed to fail. However, not doing anything on account of what the Palestinians want is also a prescription for failure, which is why Israel needs to do uh, what it needs to do on a demographic and cost-effective basis. Do what's right for Israel, whether it's left-wing or right-wing, I'm not going into that. And, and assume that the issue called what we used to call the finality of the conflict and the, or the end of conflict and the finality of all claims is no longer attainable because of the different versions in 4867. Do you think that Israel should care as much as it does if Arabs recognize Israel as the nation state of the Jewish people? Well, I, I have a problem with that issue. Um, I don't need anyone's reaffirmation for how I define myself. Canada never asked for that. Uruguay never asked for that. Japan never asked for that. I do want the Palestinians, particularly, and the Arabs in general, uh, to recognize Israel as, as uh, bec because their failure to recognize Israel as a Jewish state uh, leads me and many others to think that they're not really recognizing Israel. They, they, they acknowledge Israel's existence as a strategic political fact of life. However, they don't actually recognize Israel, meaning that given the opportunity in due time, down the road, they, they may do something crazy. So yes, I understand the demand for them to, uh, uh, our demand, that they recognize. I, however, think that when this becomes a condition or a prerequisite to start any negotiations, it, it constrains us, it inhibits us, it prevents us from doing the right thing. I really, really couldn't give a damn, excuse me for the expression, if how the Palestinians uh, uh, define me. Th this is for you and I to, d to decide. This has been a short clip. To see the full interview, please go to the Premium Zone's 20 Questions.